What's up guys, Zerdball here, and welcome to Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels. So today we're going to be playing through World 1, 1, and 1, 2 of this game, and if we have time we'll do the rest, but um, this game is really, really hard. Like, it's basically the old game, but the maps are stupid. So, um, as I just... Um, just saw i broke into that block it's a mushroom you need to bonk to get it out this block uh, is something new when you hit it it'll pull out this like brownish looking one and this one will damage you so we're gonna not not get that because getting that will damage you and that's not good so um right here above this tree is how you know hitting here will give you a one-up block so that's the one-up block for world one one um, since I, like, basically never played this game, because it's just so bad, um, I'm relying mostly on a spreadsheet to, you know, be able to see where all the things are, because I want this to be an all-secrets playthrough. So this is a coin block, for example. The one in the very far left, uh, far left, um, bottom row is a star. If we die, I'll show you it. And... This is a big collection of coin blocks. Not no power ups. I think there's a poison mushroom third block. Yeah, I got tricked by that uh, poison mushroom block a lot of times before when I was just practicing for this video. Because um, this game takes a lot of practice. So right here, if you can somehow get into this pipe down here, it takes you somewhere. I don't know where. So I don't know how to get over there I don't think jumping is gonna cut it should have expected that um I don't think I got a checkpoint oh yeah I did turns out okay cool oh it just starts right there cool all right wait um I'm just trying to get into this pipe I don't know where it leads it's kind of a mystery because the spreadsheet I I guess it shows it, but it's being cut off. Okay. You can get there, it's just hard. <laughs> okay. But we did land on that platform, which is important, because now we know it's possible. You just gotta run backwards as soon as you land on the platform, and then you can probably get there. Um. Now, instead of having to enter, like, a cheat code, you, you can just continue. There's an option on the menu. So... Let me show you that star. So right here, hit this. It's a mushroom. Um, all this stuff. Not gonna hit the poison mushroom to demonstrate this time. All right, and right there, I'm gonna get the one up from the tree. Tree one up. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the star now. So the star is right here, and it's the star, and I missed it. Crap. No, I'm small Mario. Uh, that's gonna be a disadvantage later, cause then I can't become Fire Mario. Well, okay. Alright. <sighs> so, th because if you if you lose your power, it's super tricky, cause then you can't become Fire Mario, which the game kind of expects you to be Fire Mario for some of the later levels, cause they are ridiculously hard. Um, World Two is so bad and then i know there's like world a through d secret levels as well um so there's a lot of levels like a lot of levels so really hoping that i can get through at least a good chunk of world one today um okay, i'm just gonna chill on this side until the paratrooper runs off so i can get my coins in peace Alright, so we're going to keep trying to get to that one pipe, because I really want to see what's down there. And I might also skip a big portion of the level, not sure. About... Oh crap. I don't know how I didn't lose there. Alright, here we go. So, here we go. Oh, you can't do it when you're big Mario, I think. Because ground pounding doesn't exist yet. Ground pounding was added like new Super Mario Bros. That's like ages from now. That's like uh, 2011. This was made in 
1988. This was actually, fun fact, this was actually the original Super Mario Bros. 2 in uh, Japan. It was just, it was so hard, they decided, hey, putting this in the USA would probably anger a bunch of our customers, and we don't want to anger a bunch of our customers, so we're gonna not release this in the US. Until like 2005 or whatever, when they decided, okay, let's release this in the US, because... Okay, here we go. Got onto the platform. It is a coin cache. What did I expect? Is there anything special in the coin cache? Yes! There is a power-up in the coin cache. So, you need to hit completely random blocks. So, here? I don't know. I'm just following the spreadsheets. So, right here, apparently, there's like a death mushroom. Oh. Well, they were not joking about that. Alright. And then, here... Is this and then hit this brick my question is how do I obtain it because it goes to the right automatically does it does it come off okay well that that was it okay so I guess you have to be big Mario to hit the block below to actually so it's designed to be a fire flower but obviously since I lost my power up because you, you know it's literally impossible um that kind of couldn't happen we didn't skip much of the level um, there was, it, it's actually, the other parts were really simple, so I'm not going to go bother going back there and showing them. But I only have one life, which, you know, might be an issue, might not be, we'll see. Um, alright, here we go, world 1-2, here we go, okay, here's my spreadsheet for this. Alright, so, the Paracoupa spawns on that platform, which I actually never knew, because, I don't know. I don't know why I never knew that. And then there's a power up right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. How do you. Can, is there a way to jump higher? Is that a thing you can do in Mario? Not sure. Okay. Well, I just messed up the jump. Should I go back for it? No. Bad, that's a bad idea. And it's precisely why I'm doing it. Alright. I'm, I'm out. Uh, two Goombas here, there's a pipe on the right, um, if I were Big Mario, I could show you a secret coin block here, but unfortunately, I'm not Big Mario, and I don't have a cheat code to get to become Big Mario, and, uh, so, unfortunate. Um, let's see here, you can't go down this pipe, you can get one-up mushrooms, I think, you just have to chase them, so it's like here. Yoink. No, hold on. It's these ones. So, yoink. There we go. That's a that's a normal power-up mushroom. Uh, there's four. It's like they're in like a pattern. I wonder if there's an infinite lives hack. Because I kind of need an infinite lives hack. Which is kind of embarrassing, but... Um, I don't know if it's possible. If it even exists. If it even works for 2J. Hold on. I don't know if Game Genie even exists for this version of the game. Well, that didn't work. Because, the I mean, it, oh, hold on. I have to disable all cheats. Well, that, did, that still did not work. Okay, well, whatever. I guess they're completely different codes, so I guess I just have to suffer through this. <sighs> Dang it, I really wanted to choose the entire game. Uh, it's actually quite a simple game, but the levels, the levels are dumb. Like, really dumb. Okay, what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna... Uh... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Oh yes. Um. I'm gonna not go the pipe way, cause I showed you the secrets of when you go down the pipe. So I'm not gonna go down the pipe this time, and I'm just gonna go the normal way to show you what's there. There's only one secret there, and it's not really a secret. You can get it just by just hitting question mark blocks. So no, no actual secrets there, but still should be worth noting since we get the great opportunity to do this again anyway. Oh crap. Okay, well, time for me to go. Alright, so here's the pipe that you go down, and then here, 
just jump over it, which is a way easier route. And this, these two pipes don't lead anywhere. And so these three are just coins. Okay, hold on, let me take care of this Koopa. Alright, so these, but this one is a mushroom. Which is really nice, because you kind of need power-up. If you don't have power-ups, you're basically screwed in this game. Alright, and that's the level. So, I'm looking at these spreadsheets right now, and this is quite interesting. Because there's an A? I don't know how to read any of this. Ah, I know. Okay, I see. I understand now. Okay, so. Oh, oh, oh crap. Okay. So I already showcased most of the secrets, but this time I'm Big Mario, so I should be able to show off the coin block until I, unless I just lose it. Also, am I big enough to, yes, I can hit the block. Damn it. Alright, well I'm Small Mario now, so probably should have created a save state. I'm going to create a save state um, at the start of each level, just to be helpful. Okay, boom, alright. So they stay created, so now I can come back to this level how many times I want. Uh, yeah, but as you just saw, power up up there that I completely missed, and I won't be able to show off the coin block either, unfortunately. So basically, I'm just going to explain how to get it. So you need to hit this block, and then the block above that will be the coin block. I just not, I'm just not good enough to, you know, get it. Alright, there, you can go to warp hall. I did not know that block was there. I did not know that block was there. Sucks. Okay. So I can just come back to the save state whenever I want, which is kind of cheating. But uh, with my skill level, I I think I think it's fine. I don't think it's that much of a cheat if I, you're as skilled as me. So apparently, this is a vine block. I never knew that. Uh, I see a vine block there, and I'm going to try to hit it. Because it goes to some kind of secret area, and I want to go to the secret area. Um, what is the secret area? It's a warp zone to world 3. Um, but I thought you can go to a warp zone... Wait, I didn't make this spreadsheet, just saying. Wait, okay, I can go to either world 2, 3, or 4, but I have to really pipe it. Like, I have to use pipes very skillfully. So, this is the end of the level. <laughs> this is really weird. I'm. This is the end of the level. If you go down this pipe, then you will go here. And then if you go down another pipe, you will go there. And if you go down another pipe, you will go here. Okay. But if you keep going this way, you'll go to world 4. If you keep going this way, you'll go to world 2. But how do you get up here? Oh, coin blocks, of course. This this entire game is just based on coin blocks. Ooh. Okay, well, I've learned a lot of new stuff, but I'm not gonna use any warp zones. Because that just that's boring. I'll show I'll show off all the warp zones, or at least I'll try to show off all the warp zones, but that'll probably take me a lifetime. Cause there are three different warp zones and three completely different locations. So I'll show you off the world to world three first. So I just it's, it just tells me to hit a block random the random block that I just accident. How do I get rid of this buzzy beetle? This buzzy beetle is really annoying. And I want to get rid of it. But I don't know how to do that without dying. Okay. Like that, I guess. Okay. Be super careful. Don't hit it. So it's... It came back to... You can't hit it with fireballs either, so I have no clue how you're meant to... Be able to defeat that guy, and I guess it's I guess the game is for skill. It's a more of a skill game, like the unfair level pack, basically. The levels are so hard. So hit this block, hit this exact block. It says. Okay, okay, sure. Um, nice if I had big Mario. Uh, I don't really know how to get a power up though. I don't think you can. I'm spending way too much time on this. This is literally becoming a like a let's play of Mario instead of an all all secrets because there's too many secrets to cover. Alright, well I'm working on trying to figure out how I'm meant to get this fine without with me being the skill level I am. Okay, hold on. Alright, how I 
Th that coin block is not where it claims to be. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, I just need to be really careful here. And then, hit this. Ah, there we go. Alright, we're up. Cool. So, this takes us to like a 1-3-ish level. Which I have to be careful on, because I don't want to do that again. Careful on, I say. As I fall into... Alright. That sucks. Oh, I'm going to do that again, because I am determined to get that warp. Whatever it takes. Alright. Here we go. So, maybe I can just, like, jump off this pipe and hit it? No. Well, that did not work. Okay, I don't know how to get that exact location of hit. So, I hit right here. Oh. Of course, I have to hit the shell. Uh, how do I do this? I'm probably editing out a huge part of this because this is really embarrassing. But hey, if it's embarrassing, then pe more people will watch the video and I'll get more subscribers. Because I have six right now. Which is not great. But, you know, it's what I like to do. Besides, I get bored every single day after school. So I thought, you know, having a, a gaming channel would be pretty cool. Would be a cool idea. And that's what I'm doing now. Okay, did it. Did it for the second time. So this time, I'm going to be smart about it. I'm going to create a safe state. Because that's how you fix any problem. How you fix any problem? Just use a safe state. So safe state, safe state 2. Okay, here we go. So I can just hit F2. And F2 is now my safe state. Can I get up here? Oh, I, can, I need to get up there without jumping. Okay, I see. <sighs> Okay, I guess I'm not getting those coins unless I do this. Okay, so it should just be like right here, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So here is the warp zone to get to world three. And does it work? Of course it does. And now I'm in world three, which looks scary because it is. Oh my god, okay, all right, all right. Well, we're just gonna stop doing that. All right. That's cool, but now we're going to show you guys the other two warp zones. Uh, okay. Alright, so the other two warp zones can be obtained by staying on top of the level. Which, I don't know why, it's just hard in this game. I am I doing something wrong? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm fine, actually. So I actually fell for this because I was just running as fast as I can, and I, there's gaps. There's gaps in the floor. It's unfortunate. Like that one, and there's another one. There it is. Okay, so here we go. So I. Crap. Okay. Hold on. I need to figure out where we are. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I know where we are now. So we need to go above the. I need to go above the game. Above the level, I say. Okay. Here we go. Oh my god. Alright, guess we're not getting the warp zone. Um, I'm just going to show you the ending, I guess. And then we'll get the warp zone later. Probably should have created a safe state. I don't know why I didn't create a safe state. But anyway, there's like hidden blocks here. That's what I saw on the spreadsheet somewhere over here. Let's take a look. Um, In the middle between the... Oh, okay, here we go. Alright, All right, another one above this. Oh, so it's just like an easy 5,000 points. Obviously, this isn't in. This this would be such an exploit in the later games, cause can't you jump over the flagpole? Is that a thing you can do? That would be really funny if you could jump over the flagpole. But anyway, um, hit to F one, okay, and it, well, here we go, back to on top of the level. All right, so okay, we're gonna try our best to not fall down this time. So we're gonna go across, jump, jump, jump. Okay, here we are. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a safe state. Safe state number three, okay. And now we can have as many attempts as we want to try to get up to that platform. 
Also, I think I cut off part of it, so I don't think it jumps paws. Okay, just kidding. All right. So we're going to come over to this end, and then we're going to cruise. override that safe that we just made. Boom. Okay. So here we go. So let's take a look at our spreadsheet here. All right. Got it. It's very simple. I'm just going to simply hit go down here. So this pipe takes you somewhere, so I'm going to showcase that in a sec. But first, I'm just going to showcase this one. So this one is the Warp Zone 2 World 2. There's nothing up here. Um, World 2. So, World 2-1. And you can just play World 2-1. I don't know what it looks like. Is there jumping sheep sheeps? Please don't tell me there are jumping sheep sheeps. What? Alright. Uh, it was back to it. Okay. And I am going to now showcase where this goes. So, it goes to A, I think? No, it does not go to A. A goes to the other thing. Alright. So, this block is a power-up. I don't know how to get that power up because it's beyond my skill level. Alright, we're gonna jump over here. Oh, piranha plant timing. Yes. Totally remember that piranha plants just come out of nowhere in this game. I guess they do in the old game too. Alright. So I gotta time my piranha plant jump. So get the piranha plant rendered. Okay. Okay, or you just have that happen. Well, that works too. Man. This game's hard. I'm on World 1-2 and I'm struggling. Alright, here we are in this level. So these pipes don't go anywhere. Um, pretty standard. And then... So, here's what we're gonna do. We need to jump across here. Get over this... Oh my god. Okay, here we go. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a save state. <laughs> save state number 3 override. Okay. So you can just run over this. Don't jump. If you jump, you die. So, first I'll showcase what happens when you go down this pipe. So it takes you to A, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go over to A. So the A is a coin cache. This, does this fire, oh my god, this fire bullet goes great. That's just great. That's just great. Um, but now that I have a safe state, um, I want to showcase where to, where to go down. So I'm going to completely ignore this entire thing and. And then I'll show you the actual level as well. So this is going to be a very long showcase. And this takes you over here to uh, the above ground. So as you can see, you recognize this. This is from b above, um, before the warp zone. So if in case you just like change your mind, like, oh no, I went the wrong way, you can go ahead and do that. But now I'll showcase what happens when you keep going. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of this Koopa. So you might think, oh, this is an invisible wall, which kind of forces you to go down A. But no. Instead, you gotta hit two invisible coin blocks. Uh, this game is just coin blocks, coin blocks, coin blocks. So there's one right there. And without falling into the lava, you need to hit this one. This one. Okay. Here we go. And you can go on top, and then it's the warp zone to warp for. Alright. Well, um... This spreadsheet is really useful. Cool. And this is World 4. Yeah. So now we will showcase the above ground. The above ground. Okay. So here we go. So we're going to showcase a bunch of stuff today. Because the above ground is really annoying. So first we're going to hit one of these blocks. Because I just want to. And then, you have to be really faster, I guess. I'm not gonna bother with the mushrooms, you already saw the mushrooms. I don't wanna, I don't wanna die like a million times trying to get them again. Alright, so, let's try getting these platform jumps right. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, across the platform jumps, okay. So, now that we're across the platform jumps, there is a secret here that I... I'm really scared to showcase. So right, right. Actually, I'm gonna create a safe state. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so I'm just gonna be creating a safe state for every step of the journey here. So there's a star there. Okay, which I guess just okay. Bye, star. Guess it's gone now. Uh, we're gonna hit this brick and then yeah, there we go. Now I have the star. So. Um, looking at the spreadsheet here, there's no more secrets, unless you have a big power-up mushroom, which I don't have, unfortunately. 
Um, but if you did have one, you could hit this block, the block above it, and the block above it to reveal a coin block. And that is about it. Um, over here we have... Why can I not move? Oh, game's paused, obviously. And now over here we just have the warp zone area again, and... Okay. So I'm gonna stop the video now, because it's probably been an eternity. How long? 25 minutes. So I'm going to stop the video now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to create a safe state so we can um, continue where we left off. So that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and goodbye.